they all been here from east west uh, going to have a look at silver uh, in this week's video wow uh, silver melted down pretty badly didn't it uh, so what happened well in two words that's uh, been melted into one payrolls that's that's what happened so uh, this is why I've gone back to the US dollar again as I like to do uh, each and every week but look you just you just got to sort of appreciate what's going on here in the market dynamics I mean everyone kind of knows or expects that the next move is going to be a cut by the Fed okay so what the market does is it, it scrambles to it, it people want to be positioned for a cut before they cut okay and when something comes along like the payrolls number that goes the other way they all scramble to get out and they've got to take their positions off and get ready to reposition and then we'll go through the same cycle again as the market gets start, uh, starts to get more information and more data points that start to point towards cuts it'll start to price the cut price the cut price the cut unless something comes out to rock the apple cart and then we get these rocketing moves where everyone's got to undo it and so it's happened yet again so it's not surprising here that the US dollar obviously is, is strengthened but especially the dollar index uh, when you consider that the ECB also cut this week uh, along with the Bank of Canada uh, and Japan are in perpetual easing so you know the DXY the you know the proxy for US dollar strength is obviously um, going to strengthen sorry I should say the DXY is the proxy for the US dollar is obviously going to strengthen and now we're just running into this so I would suggest that this this you watch this because if this keeps going through and you know if this keeps going through it's going to be you know connotations across the the bond yields etc because what will drive this through ultimately is the bond yields start to start to pick back up again uh, but one swallow does not make a summer and one data point even though it can sort of turn the market short term um, you know you've got to take it with with a bit of a grain of salt because this massive move that will be retraced at some stage it's just a question of where it tops out but at the moment it is threatening the, the downward movement um, that the US dollar has been experiencing as the rate cuts uh, begin to come into focus um, but now you know we've had all these tests down here of this area into the retracement zone and it's holding and it's pushed away so I would suggest that if it gets through there uh, then we're going to experience some US dollar strength and then we will have to start to consider the major retracements which are just above this point okay so I, I think if we get back up here then you know that that is going to keep the metals under pressure I know I said last week I was expecting the US dollar to fade and I still do but the time frames in which these things happen um, they're never straightforward so with that being said let's just have a look at silver um, with that US dollar uh, outlook in mind now I'm just going to start down here on the one hour because I think you've got to build almost build backwards uh, as to what's going on here so uh, through some of these sections through here it, it was playing some nice um, sort of measured move ball so there's one I mean that kind of got through the retracement zone a little bit but only on a wick and we came down and tested so we can pull another pivot off here uh, down to here we got a nice into the zone we didn't quite get to target uh, and then the market started breaking up um, and you know leading into that number we were, we were kind of swinging quite well I mean the, the problem is I actually took some longs through here and, and got got one um, but you know I was looking for the retracement to try to go again uh, and we never got it so you know I, I was looking at this coming into the payrolls number and I had my bids down here and I got I got hit and stopped out very very quickly so that you know that was a loser for me but that's that's how it rolls but now just looking at this okay well now I'm, I'm, what am I doing I'm just looking at it going back the other way because it's going it's trending down I'll trade with the trend so I'm looking for the next bounce okay now is there a chance that this bounce comes through and stops me out 100% but that's just the way I'm going to play it so that that's kind of what it's been doing on the when we look at it on the one hour but you know for me that the point of call now is 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 this and, and just seeing how it can if this is proves to be the bottom it's pretty it's been sold off very very hard so I'd expect some sort of bounce but as it bounces now I'm thinking about this zone okay so that's that's just where I sit here but when we start moving it out to the four hour uh, you start to consider what's going on here and and what we've got to see here right is that just and we're on a four hour man right? but what we've got here is a move down 
a lower high, lower low, lower high, and now a lower low. So even though that's not a great form downtrend, it is still a downtrend by definition, okay? It, it, I don't think you can really, I mean, that's kind of okay, but that that won't, maybe it will. Let, let's just try to draw this up, see if we can get any sort of geometry off it, but I'm not, I don't think we will particularly. I mean, I think the bottom side of this looks a lot better than the top side. Yeah, it's not too bad, but that that's kind of what you're dealing with, right? So you can have your, your general overall ideas, but at the, at the end of the day, you just got to do what the market's doing, and, and this is what the market's doing. So it, it's it's trending down, okay? So we can see that it's very clear, okay? So, so this is just what I'm looking at for now. This bar, 27 trading. Well, this is on a four hourly, right? So 27 trading bars, down nine percent. So this would represent. This is obviously down nine percent over over 27 trading bars. So if you're bullish, what you want to see is you want to see the bottom of this not get broken and you want to see price get out of that box uh, before we hit this line. Okay, you'd want to see that. Okay, and we we feel a fair way away from that. Um, but, you know, that what I'm saying, and that's not an automatic buy signal, but what I'm saying is if this downswing ends up being shorter uh, in time, Sorry, you want this bottom out before it gets to that. If this ends up being shorter in time, in duration and price, well, then you've got your first clue that, you know, maybe you can then look to take a retracement long and that the this trend might be breaking. But we're not there yet. That That's just like little flags, just little things you look for, okay? But we don't have that here yet. So I'm still looking to sell this uh, on a short-term basis. But like I said, I, I think you've got to work from the inside out. So that might be our, our, our short term trading plan well it's mine you've got to do your own but I, when i look at this now I also now I start to think about the bigger picture so let's go out to the daily okay and now i'm just going to bring in a couple of um things that we, we've been looking at so this represents the major top just around here around 30 dollars, where we smashed into it quite a few times and then we've sort of you know third time here maybe and then we've broken through so my idea was that um, what what was happening here is that we, we were re, we, we were above and we we're retesting, um, but just on this daily time frame, I mean this candle is not good, right? But it it's kind of broken us back down. Um, so as you're looking at this, you go, oh well, hang on, is this this all a fake breakout? Mm, I, I wouldn't say it is just yet. It, it it's just more is this going to be a, a more serious retest? Now as you look at this on the daily, um. You know, you'd be thinking, well, oh, this looks like just a fake break at the top. It, look, it, it could end up being. Uh, but just looking at the bigger picture, I was kind of hoping that uh, that we, you know, I'm looking at this. I'm just looking at that. But we've kind of gotten through that, which is kind of, well, I was like, oh, okay, well, I would have preferred to have seen that held the way this did and it started pushing away. I thought, okay, that looks pretty good. Um, you know, I was even thinking, is this some sort of uh, accumulation? And then this was like a bit of a spring, but that's kind of been blown out of the water. So we just adjust the thinking a little bit, but um, it, the same thing, right? This is kind of, you know, just, just like a, 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 looks like a broader test. So I still think you've got some structural tops here uh, into this retracement zone that would allow you to think, okay, well, all's not still lost. So even though I'm a seller of here, uh, I'm a seller on the short term when I look at those sort of hourlies, as I start to come into the dailies, I'm recognizing that we're into an area where it's probably not good to be trying to go short. So what I mean is, you know, if I got that, say I've got a measured move like that, okay, I'd be like, yeah, right, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm okay with that. But if I started getting... If I started getting a move kind of, oh, just, just say it's down here. If I started getting a move that was kind of more like this, um, you know, if I started getting a trend out of there, I, I'd be a little less hesitant, uh, a little less inclined to go short just because of the areas that we, we're reaching into sort of down here. So what I'm saying is there might be one more, for me at least, one more measured move on the short term up, but... You know, I don't want to be initiating shorts through. If this goes down through here, then then you know I'm back on the short. But I don't I don't want to be initiating shorts through here. I think that's what I'm trying to say, right? This becomes an area where I don't want to be initiating shorts because I think this is going to be on the bigger time frame where I'm looking for a trend change to start going long. So move out to the weekly, and I don't think you know. Look at the weekly structures of what's here. It's not 
even though, you know, yes, we, we, we sort of had those tops. But you've got to sort of, this is all wick, so you've got to kind of almost consider the, the structure through here as well, where we had all these tops. And that sort of lines up with just what the little stuff we've got in here. So what I'm saying is, I'll just change this up a bit. What I'm saying is, um, th this is not necessarily a bad thing to test into this zone. Okay, because there is more supporting structures here. It's just that this was the wiki tops, but there's no candle. There's only this candle body here. There's no candle bodies through here. There wasn't really a lot of price action other than through this bit here. So to retest that into this retracement zone is not really a problem. And take it out to the monthly. Okay, so I don't, what I'm saying is I don't think that testing down into this zone is necessarily a problem. Okay. It, it's a break above. Okay, it is a break above, and it's a retest. And you know, we could we could probably even consider, you know, maybe coming off off the bottom here. I mean, I don't think it's going to go that deep. I can't rule it out. We might come this deep. Okay, but even if we come down to the fifty, the fifty still lines up with all this, more or less. Okay, so that that you know that I, I still remain overall bullish, but in the short term, I'm a seller. That that's just how I look at it. Actually, I'm just tighten that up a little bit there, and maybe that's gonna. Yeah, they come off that probably. So yeah, I mean the fifty would be a little bit deep, but you know that that's back to sort of twenty seven bucks. But yeah, but this this sort of area where where we were looking at, I, I think you know I, I I don't see it as as a massive problem in the long term. Um, it's just short term. It's just short term how you deal with it, and that's why, like I said, I'm just I'll just play the measure move game in the short term. That that's how I'm viewing silver at the moment. So I think I'll just leave it there for this week. So look, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you did like the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Uh, it's all good. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.